is really the first time that I've had any real hands-on experience with the brand Focal. I've heard about them before, I know that they're an audio manufacturer, but this is the first time I've actually got to check out some of their products. So today I'm looking at the Focal Listen Premium Wireless Bluetooth headphones. Being Bluetooth, it means that they can hook up to a smartphone or any kind of Bluetooth enabled device, so you can stream your music directly from that device straight to the headphones. So if we take a look at what's actually inside the box, I know I've had these out before, so I will say, as soon as you do get them open, however, they absolutely scream premium. I really like the way that they're actually laid out. But the headphones are actually sitting in some kind of really soft mold, um, I would say, just to give them a lot of protection while they're actually in transport being delivered to you. Um, but inside the actual box itself, you've got the headphones here. You've got an auxiliary cable. I tried to pack these away as best as I could but um, to, to no avail, they just ended up looking a bit messy. So at the back here, I actually missed it straight away. I thought it was part of the actual foam padding uh, on the inside of the actual headphones themselves. Um, but you've actually got this nice little, I think it's like a silicon kind of material carry case, which you can store your headphones away. The headphones fold down, you can store them away while they're inside a bag, just to give them a bit of protection. I very much doubt that this case will give any kind of protection from drops. Um, but certainly scratches and things like that if you've put it inside a bag that has a lot of stuff in it Then the plastic on the actual headphones will be protected from scratches on there So you've also got a USB type C charging cable which offers really really fast charging actually for the battery built into the actual headphones And then last but not least you've got just a normal kind of set of instructions So the headphones I must admit picking them up for the first time They did feel a little bit flimsy as if things weren't really screwed down tightly they are, however, they can bend somewhat and you have got a bit of flex to the actual headband itself. As I said, the headphones do fold into themselves so you can get them stored into the carry case during transport or if you just want to store them while you're at work, um, you, can, you can put them in the carry case and they fit in there quite well. When they are going into storage, if they were extremely rigid, then you'd worry that if there was any kind of pressure put onto the actual headphones that they would snap in some places. But having that bit of flex means that if they are squashed inside a bag, then they're not going to break as easy. Now the headphones do come in two different colours. You've got the ones that we were sent here, which have the black finish, and you've also got a kind of a stainless steel brushed, stainless steel silver type finish as well. But, but the black ones I do think do look incredibly smart, albeit a bit of a fingerprint magnet. You don't want to be touching around the rim too often, because they will just get covered in sort of grease from natural grease from your fingers. So the actual headphones themselves are 40 millimeter drivers, which are over ear. And they're actually surrounded by memory foam as well. So they are very, very comfortable when you actually put them on. So when they do actually end up onto your head, my whole entire ear actually sits inside the memory foam. I don't know if you can see on there, but my whole entire ear has been surrounded by the memory foam, which stops outside noise from getting in. The noise isolation on these headphones are very, very good. So the ear pads of these headphones are made from memory foam, which make them incredibly comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Now you have got this soft material kind of on the underside of the headband as well, which doesn't feel as if it's giving too much pressure on top of the crown, although it's definitely nowhere near as soft as the memory foam ear pads. I wish they would have included this up the top just to give an extra bit of comfort to the crown of your head, but they didn't. But uh, saying that they're not that uncomfortable around this area they're actually really comfortable to wear and you could wear them for long periods of time as well so there's no active noise cancellation with these headphones which is a shame given the price tag but you do get a somewhat decent level of noise isolation from the outside world but that's thanks to the memory foam and the fact that your ears actually go inside of the drivers themselves um, and it really cuts out the majority of outside noise anyway so having active noise cancellation on here Yes, it would make a little bit of a difference, but not a huge amount to, to miss it, if you know what I mean, on these headphones. Now, the nice thing about these headphones is the fact that the things like the hinges that you can see here are made from metal. And there's also two metal rods that are going through the headband that I can see here as well, which just gives it that little bit of protection if they do end up bending. I've had it time and time again where I've looked at a pair of budget headphones and the hinges have been made from plastic and they've been really weak. Uh, and they're just susceptible to breaking, but if you've got the metal hinges, I know the outside is covered in plastic, but you have got the rods on the inside that are made from metal, and it just gives the headphones that extra bit of protection. And all the time you're doing this, 
It doesn't feel like the headphone is, is going to snap at all. It just feels really, really well built. So if we take a look at functionality on the actual ear cups now, you can see that there are several buttons on the right ear cup. And actually, there are no buttons on the left ear cup. So every single button press is done on the right ear cup. So at the top, you've got a switch, which does feel a little bit out of place compared to all of the other buttons here. But that turns the headphones on and off. The button underneath will start searching for Bluetooth signals from a mobile phone. And then two underneath that, you've got volume up and down. So that's everything that you will control sort of from the front side of the actual headphone itself. And then on the back, you have um, play and pause and skip track buttons on there as well. Now, the actual Type-C USB connection is on this headphone as well, which is right here, which can go straight into a plug. Uh, which is how I charge these or straight into your laptop or a desktop just to give them a bit of charge and then on the other ear cup the only thing you have on here is a connection for the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable which actually doubles up as a microphone as well this end goes into a mobile phone or the device you want to listen to actually it, as it's for calls mobile phone this does act as a standard 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable as well but this end has a microphone built into it which is shown by this kind of silver um, section here on the actual connection itself. So once that's plugged in to the actual um, headphone itself, then that acts as the microphone uh, and then you can have hands-free calling on there and talk to your friends while you're walking down the road. Or So before I start talking about music, I wanted to let you know that I didn't use any kind of DAC. I plugged these straight in using a wired connection and a Bluetooth connection. I tested both to a mobile phone. I have my Honor my Honor 7X, which I use for testing uh, when testing the various tracks on there. Uh, because I wanted to give some kind of real life examples. I can't see everyone owning some kind of DAC or at least carrying around some kind of DAC with you um, to, to amplify these, the quality out of these headphones. So I just wanted to keep everything as realistic as possible and um, just to give you some real life results. So the first track I listened to was a track called Dead and Gone by State Champs. And, but the nice thing is that I heard with these headphones is I hadn't heard this before on other headphones that I've used. And uh, the track's relatively new, by the way, uh, is the fact that you can hear some guitar scratches during sort of really the really jumpy chorus bits uh, as if they're running kind of a plectrum without strumming the guitar. Um, you can actually hear that. And you, I heard sort of tones and notes and music uh, and instruments that I didn't quite hear before or I thought weren't present, which is really, really nice. It shows that these headphones can pick out minimal detail. And it was the same when I moved on to a bit of Aerosmith. You could hear the kind of reverb effect that usually gets put on uh, Steven Tyler's voice. You heard all of that within these headphones and they sounded really, really good. And it's something, it's like a sound that you may have known was there, but you couldn't hear that it was there. So these headphones just brought out that kind of detail as well. And when I was listening to kind of that big band um, Aerosmith hair metal type stuff, uh, everything sounded so big and so powerful and the soundstage was absolutely huge. Like you could tell that the, yes, the guitars were coming from the right, the guitars were coming from the left. Um, and it just sounded really, really phenomenal through these actual headphones. So then I wanted to try a little bit of bass. So I studied uh, an MIA track called Boys, I think it was called, B-O-Y-Z. Uh, check it out for yourself. It's a really, really good song, actually. But there is a lot of hard-hitting bass in that and a lot of bass frequencies that when we were studying it and we had this like, the surround sound system within my lecture hall, um, the bass was just so overpowering and it just rattled you. And you heard nothing else, really, just this bass, constant bass frequency. But the bass just felt extremely controlled on these headphones and you started to hear um, more of the mid and treble frequency instruments coming through the actual music, which was great. I, I, it's not that I hadn't heard it before. I had listening to other headphones, that particular track, but hearing it on there, you've still got a thumping bass, but it also enables the music to shine through over that bass as well, which is really, really nice. Um, I couldn't really find any complaints with the sound here at all. Uh, at times when the bass was really, really heavy, it sounded a little bit muddy, but apart from that, I had no problems with these headphones at all. They sounded absolutely phenomenal. 
And I think also the, the fragility of each instrument within a composition just gave the chance for each instrument to shine through and to be heard. There was nothing that was being left behind. So the last thing I want to speak about is battery life. Now there are 20 hours battery with these headphones, which is absolutely superb. And I found myself only charging them once a week. Um, I'm with going commuting every day to work. I was only charging these once a week. Um, because those 20 hours were lasting me for my commutes. I don't admittedly listen to much music throughout the day, um, but certainly I was spending an hour or two commuting each way to work. And yeah, once a week, charge. And it was absolutely wonderful to be able to do that rather than having to worry about, oh, I've got to bring a plug with me or I've got to bring the cable with me. And it's just an extra thing in your bag that could potentially scratch up the headphones, so you don't really want that. Depending on the volume you listen to, obviously if you're one of these people that are just going to pound the volume out of these uh, and listen to everything at top volume as loud as you can, then yeah, they're not going to last 20 hours. You don't need on these headphones to listen to everything at loud volume. The amount of detail you get through even at mid volume is still going to satisfy your music needs so much um, compared to those in ear Apple headphones that you're probably using at the moment. So I think if you find yourself looking for a new pair of headphones, if you're someone who absolutely loves your music and you love listening to music while you're on the go, uh, you want something wireless, you want something that has a long battery life to last a week, then these are definitely a set of headphones that you should consider checking out. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Focal Listen Premium Wireless Headphones. If you enjoyed this review, then click that like button Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments what you think about the new Focal Listen headphones and whether you would go for something like this over maybe the Bose Quiet Comforts or the Bowers and Wilkins uh, PX Wireless or even the Sony uh, 1000s. Let us know in the comments what you think and whether these would be something you could see yourself investing in. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.